Green Power Motor Company bought electric school buses to many counties in West Virginia with a pilot program earlier this year. Now, this weekend, the company is announcing the results at a school transportation news expo in Reno, Nevada. Paige Taylor is live in the studio with more on those results. Paige. Daniel, Green Power Motor Company has broken down exactly how the buses performed in West Virginia this last school year, and both Green Power and schools seem to be pleased with the results. The bus performed exactly as the bus was supposed to perform. 18 school districts in West Virginia participated in the pilot project. The purpose of the project was to see how the buses performed in the state's mountainous terrain and weather conditions. While the pilot program showed Green Power a slight weakness in the buses when it comes to charging infrastructure, in Boone County, the bus proved to save money, only costing $200 a month. Normally, diesel fuel alone for that bus would be $900 a month. And so there's a significant savings that they saw in the proof of that pilot project. And so, of course, schools are always looking to save money um, where they can in that sense. Barry Miller is a bus driver in Calhoun County. He got to participate in the pilot program, and although he was skeptical at first, in the end, he gave the bus an A+. It, it just changed my mind. It was, it, it's just amazing how well that bus runs in Calhoun County. He also says the bus provides students with a safer ride to and from school. When you have 60 to 70 students on a bus, and, and just to think about the responsibility there, anything to help us out is much better. West Virginia has purchased 41 of Green Power's buses, and it will be up to the state to decide where to distribute them. Live in the studio, Paige Taylor, Eyewitness News. Thanks for watching. Here's another video from Eyewitness News. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell notification for the latest.